Sa loob ng mahigit 400 taon, Barangay Das Marinas has been at the forefront of providing exemplary local governance to each of the residents and constituents of our barangay. Barangay Das Marinas has always complied with the speedy and effective delivery of frontline services as mandated by our local and national governments, from basic services and healthcare to environmental concerns and peace and order. Your barangay is active in the pursuit of programs and activities that sustain our barangay status as one of the best in the Philippines. Matapat na pamamahala, matatag na pamilya at komunidad, makatao na serbisyong pampubliko. Yan ang adhikain ng inyong mga barangay officials para sa buong Barangay Das Marinas. Founded in 1971, Barangay Das Marinas serves as the local political unit with Das Marinas Village as its main constituent. The village, originally intended to be part of Ford's Park, was developed by Ayala Land in 1965 and was one of the very first gated and private residential subdivisions in Makati City. Today, the village's very close proximity to Makati Central Business District and other emerging commercial centers like Bonifacio Global City makes Barangay Das Marinas one of the prime communities in Metro Manila. The barangay occupies 187.21 hectares and is surrounded by EDSA, McKinley Road, Billy Avenue, Forbes Park South, Maricaban Creek, and Ecology Village. It is less than a kilometer away from the Makati Business District and a few minutes away from Rockwell, Global City, domestic and international airports, and the cities of Manila, Mandaluyong, Taguig, Quezon, and Pasig. Barangay Das Marinas is home not only to Filipino homeowners, but also to several embassies, consulates, and foreign expatriates. As roughly coterminous to Das Marinas village in constituency and political boundaries, Barangay Das Marinas works closely with the Das Marinas Village Association, or DVA, in managing the needs and requirements of its 9,173 residents and homeowners. While DVA is a hometown association that attends to the needs of the residents, Barangay Das Marinas Village is mandated to serve all the inhabitants of the barangay, rich or poor alike. The barangay is tasked with ensuring the delivery and implementation of the city and national government policies and programs. As mandated by the Local Government Code of 1991, the Barangay Das Marinas, through its Barangay Council, remains the principal link of the people of Das Marinas Village to the municipal, provincial, and national government, and vice versa the legal and official representatives of the city and national government. The Barangay Council of Barangay Das Marinas consists of different working committees, each headed by a Barangay Councilor. Committee on Peace and Order, Public Safety and Disaster Management, headed by Kagawat Martin John Arenas. Committee on Livelihood and Entrepreneurship, headed by Kagawat Victoria D. Cantada. Committee on Education and Culture, headed by Kagawad Maria Victoria P. Limcaubo. Committee on Infrastructure, Facilities and Utilities, headed by Kagawad Attorney Eduardo Martin Tanqueang III. Committee on Environmental Protection, headed by Kagawad Stefano Angelo P. Lim. Committee on Social Services, headed by Kagawad Cecilia C. Pexon. Committee on Health and Sanitation, headed by Kagawad Senaida A. Gloria. Committee on Youth and Sports, headed by Sangunian Kabataan Chairman Paolo R. Antonio, and assisted by SK Kagawad Jose Maria C. Bautista, Leandro D. Banzon, Jacqueline S. Desma, Christian G. Mapa, Corina C. Martinez, and Christina A. Domingo. All these committees and elected officials are ably supported by the Barangay Das Marinas admin staff in administering the applications for Yellow Card, Blue Card Makati, Senior Citizen Card, Pag-ibig Applications, Passport Application. The medical and dental personnel for the Barangay's basic medical consultations, basic dental services, and basic emergency service using the Barangay's ambulance. Ang laki na natutulong sa akin. Hindi ako pinababayaan. Mahal nila ako. Kilala nila ako. Mami pa rin ang tawag sa akin. <laughs> Agad silang dumadating. Talagang 
dinadala ko kung saan dapat dalhin. Kaya kung kailangan sa ospital, dadalhin ako. Lahat sila mahal nila ako. Sabihin mo lang si Mami Espanya. Sa Mulansya, oh, he's very nice. Ang bilis, tsaka hindi ka pababayaan. Uy, si Mami, si Mami, lahat sinasabi sa mga kasama dyan. Ba't ano nangyari kay Mami? Tatanungin ba? Nihawalaan ako ng malay. Ang nagdala sa akin sa ospital ay ang barangay. Hindi ako pinabayaan. Ang gawin hindi na tapos ang pag-ano ng mga doktor doon. Mahal kong barangay. The executive powers of the barangay primarily include enforcing all laws and ordinances applicable within the barangay and the planning of programs, projects, and activities in the community. Its legislative powers are vested with the Sangguniang Barangay, which is mandated to enact ordinances necessary to discharge the responsibilities conferred on it by law. The barangay's quasi-judicial powers, however, lies with the Lupong Tagapagmayapa. It has the authority to mediate and amicably settle disputes between members of the barangay. Through the years, the Lupong Tagapagmayapa has settled disputes at the barangay level, preventing courts to be congested with cases. So, ang importante rito is ipaliwanag muna at ikalat na sa mga residente ng barangay das Marinas, ay magkaroon ng isang espiritu ng pagmamahalan, pagkakaunawaan, pagpapasensyahan, at maging mas malawak at bukas ang isipan upang maiwasan ang hindi pagkakaintindihan. Yun ang importanteng uh, adhikain ng lupo ng taga-pamayapa. We are here, nandito kami upang maiwasan lahat ang mga mamahaling gastos kung ito'y hindi maraming isulba sa level ng lupo ng tagapamayapa ng barangay Tas Marinas. Ako nga pala si Mr. Simeon Alido, 46 years old, 16 years nang nagtatrabaho dito sa barangay Tas Marinas Village bilang isang barangay tanod or bike patrol. Ang trabaho ng bike patrol, blue rubing, Every street, iniikutan namin para masiguradong uh, safe, ligtas, para may bigay namin yung serbisyo sa mga residente kung may mga kailangan silang hinging tulong sa amin. At mga may patupad yung ordinansya sa loob ng barangay, yung batas ng barangay. Ito ay isa rin ehersisyo sa katulad namin, bukod sa tipid sa gasolina, Exercise din ito bilang pagpapatrol namin sa paggamit ng bisikleta. Ako po si Elma Mariscotes, 43 years old. 28 years na po akong naninilbihan sa amo ko na nakatira dito sa barangay Las Marinas Village. Ang, ang barangay ay nagpapadala ng sulat sa amin tungkol sa kanilang mga programa tulad ng mga pagsasanay sa reflexology, manicure and pedicure, gift wrapping, at cooking na siyang malaking naitutulong sa amin. Malaking naitulong sa akin ang programa ng barangay sa cooking kasi marunong na ako magluto. Na dati hindi naman ako marunong magluto. So natutuwa naman ang amo ko kasi marunong na ako magluto. Like sa reflexology, marunong na ako magreflexology, marunong din ako magmanicure and pedicure. Sa gift wrapping, marunong na rin ako ng iba't ibang klase ng gift wrapping dahil sa barangay Las Marinas Pitings. Matapat na pamamahala Matatag na pamilya at komunidad. Makataong serbisyong publiko. Matapat na pamamahala. Matatag na pamilya at komunidad. Makataong serbisyong publiko. The battle cry of the Barangay Das Marinas Council lives in each and every one of its programs and activities for the Barangay.